Hello viewers, welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you the Walgreens non-contact thermometer. As you know, thermometers have evolved over time. We've started with simple mercury-based thermometers you stick in your mouth. There was the risk of mercury, so over time they had digital thermometers you stick in your mouth. And then later on they had thermometers you stick in your ear. And then temporal thermometers you swipe around the forehead. Now we have what's non-contact thermometers, infrared technology. This model is from Walgreens, but similar models, probably a rebranding occurs for similar uh, items found at CVS Pharmacy, for example. You can take a look at it. Everything is the same, except it's rebranded as CVS. Now, the thermometer has a digital display, as shown here. It has buttons. and it says that there's no need to touch or disturb your child and it reads both in Fahrenheit and centigrade clinical accuracy which is very important and has, measures your body room and surface temperatures so seems pretty powerful especially you don't need to touch no touch means no contamination this is one non-contact thermometer and it requires two AAA batteries which are included according to the box. And if you look on the side, it tells you the directions for use. First, you have to remove any perspiration or hair from the person's forehead. Set the thermometer to body mode and point your thermometer two, three inches from the center of a person's forehead. Press the scan and the person's temperature will be displayed on the screen. Sounds pretty simple. So, uh, and they mentioned it's also doctor, doctor recommended and it has a backlit LED very good in terms of uh, keeping the uh, contamination down because nothing that goes into your mouth or ear uh, to be of concern. In the back it says temperature taking redefine. It has an infrared lens to read and it has the buttons to control the centigrade or Celsius Fahrenheit scales and you hit the mode button to control body surface or room temperature that if you're just trying to measure it even has memory for 32 readings and the scan buttons here and has color profile to indicate uh, what you need to be concerned about so 98.6 is normal temperature in Fahrenheit and 99.8 and above is uh, a little high to very high if it's on the red uh, code. So it has a storage bag, instruction booklet, two AAA batteries, and it's non-contact. So uh, nothing else in the back. And the bottom is pretty much the same. Let's open it up and see what's included. As we unbox, We see that it has two batteries here, and the box is actually pretty plain. It, uh, there's a manual. Let me pull the manual out. So this one is Walgreens, and it's a read uh, manual. So it says read instructions before use. We've kind of looked over the manual a little bit right here and the instructions that were on the box it tells you that you're supposed to scan the forehead and temperatures in Fahrenheit 95 to 100.4 uh, measurements are typical for what is measured here so and it tell you what the normal body temperatures are so it's and it has this color coding we won't go through and reading read this manual but uh, they also mentioned a page for how you there could be common errors and they tell you how to resolve that so and let's see is there anything else that's of interest uh, probably not but it always makes a good point to read the manual all right so here is the thermometer very lightweight uh, I can tell uh, even with this uh, plastic container Let's just remove the container and AAA batteries that are included. Thermometer, really lightweight. 
and the case. The case they've nicely tucked here and you can see rolls up great for travel if you need to or just protecting it if you're not don't plan to keep the box and has a nice Walgreens label and uh, should be good. It has a drawstring to seal. You won't worry about that. The two AAA batteries. They are interestingly named Veratemp. I'm not sure if it shows well. It's ultra alkaline batteries. And uh, good thing is it's 0% mercury and cadmium. But probably any AAA batteries that are alkaline uh, would work fine. And if we look at the thermometer, there's a little sticker here. It's not really 98.6 right now because it's not even turned on. And it looks like there's a speaker hole over here. The mode button's here. The buttons are stiff. Feels like it's going to last. And uh, on the other side, we see the battery compartment here. There is a Walgreens with a serial number on it, non-contact thermometer, and here is the infrared sensor. So let's put the batteries in. So we're going to observe the polarity here. Make sure we do this thing right. Negative goes there. Positive end goes here. It's kind of difficult to see on the uh, screen, but you can probably tell the pluses over there. And the two Vera temp batteries are in. We'll just close this thing. And we can remove the sticker because without it, we can't see the display. We remove the sticker. All right, now that we have the batteries in, let's power up the device and see what we can pick up. So if we hit the mode button, it says room. We're gonna hit the button for scan and it says 73.8. That sounds about right for the room we're in. If we hit mode and we wanna scan something else, we hit, it says surface temperature, we scan the desk temperature. 74.1, slightly warmer. If we hit mode and we scroll over to body and I keep my hands a little bit away and it says 97.2. It did not need any contact and it just read the temperature straight off uh, with an air gap in between using this infrared sensor at the top. And there's a Celsius Fahrenheit control here. You can use to toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Let's hit mode again, and this time we're gonna try to read temperature of the room in Celsius. It says 23.5. That sounds about right. Do the same for surface temperature. 23. A little bit lower and if we do the same thing for body and 36.2 um, looks like it's working fine so th th you just have to hit the mode if you want to change modes or if you want to just skip through all the modes you can have room surface temperature or body choose the one you want and you hit scan very simple to use memory can be used to check the memory settings we scan 36.2 celsius 23 surface temperature just like what we just did so um, pretty convenient pretty quick looks like less than a second and uh, very nice techie device you know no contact means uh, less likely to get any kind of contamination because you don't have to s uh, stick this you know it's not a device where you stick a thermometer in the mouth or in the ear or uh, roll over the forehead it reduces the possibility of contamination and uh, it's 
it's easy to use. Just hit the scan button with the proper mode and you're done. So, um, really nice device. We, we like it a lot and uh, I think it, it is going to revolutionize the way temperatures are taken. Very quick. Just about a second. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please tap the thumbs up. We'll be having more great videos to come. Please subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.